swing it butt a little bit. So you just have to make sure it stays nice and straight. Shoulders in front of the hips. That's it. Good. Circle, sit, and canter. Try to keep a steady feel of the contact with its mouth. Outside leg back. All right, so the canter's again a little bit funky. You've got to follow with your arms. The neck has got to oscillate in the canter. Your hips and your elbows should move together, Leanne. El now put your elbows by your hip bones. Your, your, go straight ahead and come on a circle down here. Okay, now put your elbows against your hip bones and your elbows and hips should follow the same amount. That, if you touch your elbows to your body, it shows you how much that they need to oscillate to stay there. Good, that's getting oh, better. Go. Well, that was a very good visual for me. Yeah, then you that's know, the right like amount. You could see, see how our yeah. elbows and hips are not together right now. Yeah. Your elbows, and, put your elbows against your hip bones. Go longer rein if you have to, to not pull on the horse's mouth. But your hips and elbows have to move. That's it, that's it, that's it. Otherwise, your arms aren't following enough and even though you feel like you're being very light, they're light, but they're not allowing for the oscillation of the horse's head and neck. If you want pure gates, your elbows have to follow horses and chickens, not their necks. Horses <laughs> nod their necks at the walk and at the canter. They don't, that's it. They don't nod their neck at the trot. Okay. No, that's okay. It's all right, let them stretch, a little bit stretchy trot. Bounce twice. Keep doing a stretchy trot, but you're going to have to let the nose out in the stretchy trot. See, it's behind the vertical. Slow down, and then try to give a little bit and let her nose out. Keep, make it look like there's a contact. Even though there might be not a contact, you need the, you need the back up, the neck stretching, and the nose out. Nose out. Let the nose go out. Yep, slow down and then let the nose go out. And slow down and try to get the stretch back in. Stretch it again and then let the nose out. There, and slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down and let the nose out. I know. <laughs> See what I mean? She gets to like, <laughs> she does get forward. <laughs> no, she has not been instilled in uh, this, this pair either. All right, there you go, that's way better. See, now the horse is stretching its neck downward forward and it's not wadding its throat up. Nose belongs in front of or on the vertical in a stretchy trot, not behind. Bounce twice. That's better. That's better. Yep, catch it. There you go. Catch it again in the bridle. Hands forward. Right. Nose out. There you go. Right there. The horse is supposed to lengthen and lower its frame and reach downward, forward, outward. Excellent. Oh, Excellent. There she goes. Yeah. Very good. Got it for a minute. I know that's Second. supposed to happen. You're just actually making me do it. Yes. Otherwise, she's accelerating. She's idling too high, and you're holding her from going any faster, and she's curling behind the contact. I totally do. She's got to be under your aids. Very good. Very good, Leanne. Mm. This is quite good. That's a good scoring stretchy trot right there. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 Oh. All right, and go ahead and walk. Hey, that was pretty good. And I got it on video. Miracles of miracles. This one's actually making me ride. Dang it. Yeah, instead of just riding it under you, train what's under you to go better. Yeah, totally. You're either training or you're in training. Might as well be training. But I've been doing a little both. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've regressed. I mean, it doesn't mean you're not still a good rider. You're a gutsy. No, but yeah, I just haven't been keeping my learning curve. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Now this is very good. All right, I think I'll let you be done on that. Okay. Great. So Thanks, To the John. left, she's got to be straight. Shoulders yeah. in front of her hips, hips behind her shoulders. To the right, she should not be leave, living in a shoulder end to the right. Right. And you need to make sure that you don't pull out of the circle with your hands, that they really move from the inside leg to the outside ring. She was way better at that than the gray. <laughs> at the inside leg to the outside ring. Yeah. Uh, and back to the gray for a minute. Did you notice when you were working on getting them connected from the inside?